It doesn't have the magic that you would expect when you've got a big slab of super foam here. And I think that's just got to do with So in today's shoe comparison review, I have got two on shoes going head to head. We've got the On Cloud Monster Hyper up against the On Cloud Eclipse. So we're gonna go through what's the same, what's different, and go through the key features. And hopefully from that, that's gonna give you guys a great indication of choosing the right shoe for you. But before we get into it, a massive shout out to my number one running store, The Running Company at Geelong. I've got a link to their website in the description. Make sure you go check out that and check out all their running gear. And also, if you guys wanna support this channel make sure you hit that subscribe button Alright, so checking out our quick specs here now what is jumping out to me is certainly that $50 price difference so is the hyper worth $50 more than the Eclipse I'm not too sure but you guys can make your own mind up as you keep going through the review uh, a little bit of difference in the weight there I honestly cannot feel the difference between these two shoes I've worn them both had a jog around in them they feel about the same to me Nothing in the stack heights, as you can see there, and they've got the exact amount, same amount of drop. So in our uppers here, so what you're going to get in the hyper, so the material they're using is a, a microfiber woven material is what they call it. It feels, it looks and it feels like satin. Uh, so the breathability is not the best. It could be better. Does it feel like a hot shoe? Not really, because it's starting to get cool here. Uh, in Australia where I am. It has got some, they've changed the weave here and they've got some vents where the air is meant to come through, but I, there's definitely not that much air coming through the shoe. Uh, heel counter, it's got a, a pretty solid heel counter at the back. It doesn't have a solid cap or anything like that. Uh, the padding, it's probably on the, about the medium side, so not plush and not, not minimal, just in the middle. Uh, our tongue, and so the tongue is quite nice. It's got padding all down the tongue just to take that laces pressure off. It's cut quite nicely at the top so the tongue will sit uh, nicely on top of the foot. It's a gusseted tongue, very nice. Now the lacing system, it's obviously the similar as the other monsters. So it's just got, it doesn't have holes to weave through. It's just got these little lace loops and the laces just weave through like, uh, weave through that. Uh, the laces on this Hyper are really nice. So they've got uh, it's, it's sort of like ribbon, but they've also got this silicon that's weaved uh, into the shoelace itself just to stop those shoelaces coming undone. Uh, the lockdown in this shoe, very, very good. Now the fit in this shoe, it's a big fit, it's long. I recommend, highly recommend coming down half a size in this shoe. Width is about on the, on the medium side. Uh, and comfort wise, very comfortable shoe. Build quality, absolutely excellent. And in our clips, so engineered mesh this material is. So this material overall is certainly thicker than what you're gonna find in the Hyper. However, it's more breathable. There's a lot more breathing holes and you can definitely feel the air come into this shoe. Uh, but yeah, heel counter, we've got a more solid heel counter than what you're gonna get in the Eclipse. Still doesn't have a solid cap, but it's a little bit more solid in the Hyper. Now we've got less padding in the Eclipse. So very, very minimal padding around the heel collar here. There's some, but yeah, it's on the minimal side and it definitely needs more. Uh, and in our tongue, so the tongue is made out of a different type of material. It sort of feels like a, like a really, like a canvas or something like that. But again, it's got pads down it uh, and that's to take the laces pressure uh, off that as well. Now, interesting lacing system here. They've got like a cable that is sewn in that I've seen in a few other shoes around. Uh, but this, and the laces weave through the cable, but that's quite effective as well. Uh, now, lockdown in this shoe not very good so and that's got to do just with the, the the volume of the shoe itself so it's a very big volume of shoe uh and it lacks padding so it actually should, you sort of need to fill the shoe up somehow just to nail the lockdown uh or just to get this lockdown a little better but that's this shoe's probably biggest downfall is the lockdown for me it needs more padding around here or it obviously needs less padding or how i've actually fixed the shoe is just put a is put a thicker sock line around it so your foot actually sits up and it actually feels like a much better shoe. Uh, but again, uh, so the fit, sorry, big. So this is a big shoe. Again, I'm gonna recommend you come half a size down. Uh, width, this is a, a pretty big wide toe box. So it's got, it's a lot wider than this one. Uh, but as I said, lots of volume in this shoe, half size down, comfort, excellent, build quality, excellent. I so say any outsoles here, so 
two very different outsoles from the same shoe company. So you're on, you're on Cloud Monster Hyper. So where this Cloud Tech is, uh, so where these actual pods hit the ground, that's mainly where the rubber is on this shoe. So they've got it all pretty much covering the forefoot here or down the lateral side and in the high wear areas. A little bit of exposed foam here through the middle of the shoe, just under the arch on those pods there. Now they've got a bit of a D, like they've got a bit of a crevice through the middle of the shoe. It's obviously going to help these pods splay. It's going to assist the ride. But the rubber itself, so the grip in this shoe, it's actually quite, it's got a, quite an aggressive tread pattern. Uh, and it, yeah, these lugs, yeah, they're, they're quite aggressive, so very grippy, and it's pretty good on a dirt road, this, uh, this shoe as well. Uh, it's wear, it's showing lots and lots of signs of wear in this shoe, however, but that's just because this grip is just so aggressive. So it's got a lot to wear down. But overall, pretty happy with the outsole in this one. Not too bad at all. And in the Eclipse, so very different tread pattern here. So you've got a lot more gr uh, ground contact with this outsole. So pretty much the entire forefoot, as you can see there. Now, it's just not on segments. But yeah, this rubber is just, uh, there's just one piece. It feels like a different compound. It's not a hard compound. It's still pretty soft. Uh, but definitely feels, yeah, definitely feels like a different rubber compound. Someone can correct me on that. It is probably the same thing, but to me, it feels very different. Uh, and again, we've got some in the high wear areas at the back. Uh, we've got the speedboard, the exposed speedboard, as you can see there through the middle of the shoe. Uh, and then we've got a little bit of exposed foam here in the middle of the shoe. They've got a bit of a decoupled groove or a crevice through the rear of the shoe that's going to splay and obviously soften the landings uh, through the rear. They've got a little bit of uh, a flex groove here through the middle as well, and that's obviously to give the front of this shoe some flexibility. So grip-wise, I've had no dramas in this shoe. Pretty good in the wet, obviously always good in the dry. Uh, Durability-wise... It's going okay, so I've ran a fair bit in this shoe, so a couple hundred k's up in this shoe, and it's showing minimal signs of wear, so really, really nice outsole in this one as well. So in our midsoles here, so a lot going on here in the hyper, so this is what you're paying the bid bucks for, and it's the white stuff that you can see towards the front of the shoe. That's the Helion HF, that is their super foam, that's the foam that they're putting in their top tier race shoes. So it's meant to be springy, lots of energy return. So in this shoe though, it's mainly in the forefoot of the shoe and it does run down through the midfoot of the shoe into the footbed as well. So when you put your foot in, you can sort of feel a little bit of squish and a little bit of pop in this shoe. And that's all coming from the super foam. That is encased by their normal foam, their Helion foam, which is the red stuff. So they've got the really good foam sort of encased with this red stuff. And obviously the holes that you can see through the shoe, that's their normal, uh, that's their cloud tech. So they put that in all their shoes. The shapes change in different shoes as we're going to go through in a minute. Uh, geometry wise, we have got a bit of a four foot rocker here, as you can see there, a bit of a four foot rocker. It's not that evident in this shoe. You can feel it when you're walking around, but when you start running, uh, for me, it feels a little bit more traditional than what it does rocked. Now in our Eclipse. So what we've got here is just their Helion foam. Just one big full slab of that. They've also got the speed board within this shoe and that is at the bottom of the shoe. So they haven't got the speed board uh, up towards you, uh, the foot. It's got it's down towards the bottom of the shoe. So that's given this, this foam some rigidity or this shoe some rigidity and this shoe is a pretty stiff shoe. So compared to this shoe, we have got a band, but this is a stiff shoe as well. But the Eclipse, the Clips is certainly a stiffer shoe. Uh, yeah, so full slab of this uh, Helion foam. Now, what's different with this is they've changed the shape of the CloudTech, as you can see there. So this is called CloudTech Phase, and it's just, uh, yeah, it's just a different shape. So I'm not sure what they are. They're like little ovals that lean forward. So that's very, it's the same shape as what you're going to find in, in the Cloud Surf as well. But they obviously collapse and provide this shoe uh, some cushion and a little bit of energy return as well. Now, geometry-wise, this shoe, again, definitely has got a, some four-foot rocker geometry, as you can see there, and it's certainly more evident. The geometry is, oh, the four-foot rocker is certainly more evident uh, in this shoe than what you're going to find in the Hyper. And in the ride, so what you're going to get out of the Hyper, so... First word that comes to mind, if you haven't seen my other reviews, is solid, it's gutsy, it's very cushioned, you feel very protected from the road. Uh, it's definitely not soft or squishy, even though there's a lot of cushion and a lot of collapse in these clouds, uh, these cloud techs when they collapse. It doesn't feel soft and squishy, it's sort of more of a solid, um, stable collapse. 
So it goes down and then you roll through your foot strike. You get a little bit of pop and a little bit of energy return through the forefoot, but not so much. So this, the more force you put into this shoe or the heavier you are or the faster you run, the more pop and the more energy return and bounce and the more life uh, is going to come out of this shoe. If you're just jogging around in it, it's gonna feel just like a normal shoe. You're gonna sink into the forefoot a little bit uh, and pop out, but there's certainly not that much wow factor if you're just jogging around in this shoe. It doesn't have the magic that you would expect when you've got a big slab of super foam here, and I think that's just got to do with uh, the carrier foam. So the normal Helion foam is just muffling the ride, so they've put, as I said in the full review of this, they've pulled the teeth out of the Tiger in this shoe. It's got potential, but they've just muffled it with this Cloudtech phase, so you can't really get this super foam on a hard surface and really use it to spring out. You just sort of can feel it when you hit the ground and land out. So it's got potential, but it's not gonna blow your socks off this ride. And what we're gonna get out of the Eclipse, so first word that comes to mind is smooth. So yeah, very soft as well. So as you land, when the, the CloudTech phase collapses, very soft landing, very smooth landing. So these collapse and you just roll through your foot strike onto the rocker and off you go. What you don't get in this shoe is a lot of responsiveness, a lot of energy return or a lot of bounce. I don't feel that. It certainly takes all the pounding out of the road, but it doesn't really give you much back. So yeah, not a fast shoe. It's just a really soft, stable, smooth cruiser. So you can just tick the legs over in this one all day, but yeah, just don't expect to get much in return uh, with this shoe. So best shoes for both of these shoes. So for me, they pretty much cover a lot of the same bases. So that's why I, I compared these shoes. So the Hyper, it definitely feels like the faster shoe. They definitely, it doesn't feel like a super fast shoe, but you, you can actually get some energy return. And you've got a little bit of pop in this shoe, more so than this one. So for me, I think this one really shines at the long run, especially if you've got some pickups or you need to pick the pace up a little bit. I think this one uh, is gonna be the more efficient shoe for your long runs, because you are getting a little bit of life, a little bit of energy return back. So yeah, long runs. Good to go for your easy runs and yeah, and that steady pace. Uh, now for the Eclipse, certainly for me, def just easy run. So this is a nice, easy day, your recovery day. It's gonna take all the pounding out of the road, like I said, and just let you tick the legs over, roll the legs over. Can you do long runs in it? Yeah, you probably can, but you probably got, it, it does get a bit lethargic at the end because at the end of your long run, you sort of want the shoe to give you a little bit back. Where the, to me, this one just zaps all the energy out here and doesn't get, give you much back. Sort of like when you're running really thick grass and it just sucks the energy out of you and you get nothing back. So I sort of feel like that in this shoe. All right, so just wrapping it up here. So these two shoes definitely cover off a lot of the same run. So you can do the same in both things and mainly those easy days. Which is the best shoe for your easy day runs? Definitely the Eclipse. I'd prefer to go for a jog in this shoe, definitely over this shoe. Which is the better shoe uh, for your steady pace? So I'm gonna go the Hyper. Definitely the faster you go in this shoe, the better it feels to a certain extent. Uh, which would I use for a workout? I probably wouldn't use any of these shoes for a workout, but if I had to pick one, it's definitely the Hyper. Well, which one am I using for a long run? I'm gonna pick the Hyper as well. Doesn't mean that you can't do it in this shoe. But as I said, they can pretty much do what the other one can do. This one just feels a bit more lively and a bit more faster. Is that worth the extra $50 for you? You let me know in the comments below. But anyway, guys, that is it from me. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, make sure you pop those in the comments below. Also, if you've got any experience in any of these two shoes, I love reading, wait, yeah, share your experience with me. I love reading your experiences in these shoes and just to see how it differs from mine as well. Really interesting. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time.